Greetings people, this is Keith Modesto doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using the Forge Mod Loader and the Direwolf 20 Mod Pack. So in the last episode I was, uh, I built a Rock Crusher and it is still running right now. And I also started to work on adding a little, making a little addition to the, the rail line that I have that leads from, starts right down there, that leads from this part of the base to the other part of the base where the tower is. Um, and then I ran out of time. Now, I think, actually it's right over here. Right, I just uh, I just laid down some tracks and stuff, including a switch track, in order in order to test this out. So imagine that this right here, this is like the end of the of the rail line that is right, right down there, right here. That's like this end, and then we have this other end over here. This is like the end of the line that's underneath the tower, right here. And then this one in the middle is like the middle of the long hallway that connects this part of the base to the tower, right? If I look, if you look on the map, I can't really see anything underground, can you? Um, the rail line is like starts about right here, and then it goes down a little bit, and and it goes down a long hallway, which is about here, and then ends up right here. And then from here, there's elevators leading up and stairs. Okay, so uh, so I have one end here, one end here, and then there's the middle, this long hallway. There's stuff in that hallway, machinery, batteries, energy protection. So I, I need to be able to stop there with, uh, it would be nice to be able to stop there, as well as stop at either end. So, so I'm thinking of making a little addition so that there's like three possible destinations. Well, you know, where you start and then two destinations. You know, so if I start here, I could either end in the middle or on the other end. If I start, if I get in the cart here, I could go to that end or to that end. And if I start over here underneath the, the tower, I can go all the way to the other end, which is this part of the base, or I can stop in the, hall, in the middle of that big hallway where all the machinery is. So, okay, so I have this switch, and I tried putting a, I tried putting a lever down there and switching, and it didn't do any good. <clears throat> I guess uh, vanilla switches, or vanilla doesn't exactly have a switch, but you can, you, you can, of course, have a curved track, and if you put a lever by, by that, I believe it switches or something, but uh, because of the Railcraft mod, that doesn't work that way, so we actually need something called a switch motor. If we have a switch motor stuck right here, then we can switch that, move that switch around. So I need to make a switch motor, and I have already gathered all the things to make it. If I look in here, I put in switch into uh, any uh, switch into any ion. So we have all these different kinds of switches because I have this, the switch motor. So this is what I need to make. So that requires some uh, rose red, uh, red dye that is black, which can come from an ink sack, and then uh, white, which bone meal. Something that's white, white dye, bone meal, and then a uh, piston, a receiver circuit, and uh, an iron ingot. Receiver circuit is from Railcraft. That ingots this, this stuff, which is some green wool, redstone, lapis, gold block, and then a redstone repeater. And that is a redstone repeater. Redstone torches, some stone, and some redstone. Okay, so I have all that stuff in here. So first, over here. Over here is the stuff to make a repeater. So there is a redstone repeater. And then we take the redstone repeater and put it over here on the top of this, and that makes us this receiver circuit. And then we go over here, and I've got all this stuff for the switch, except for the receiver circuit, which we're gonna put right there, and now we have a switch motor. Voila. So now we go down, back down here and install the switch motor right here. And then, and I don't know if you, if you hit it with a crowbar to move it around. Oh, there's a, yeah, I guess we don't have to worry about that right now. Okay, so let's see if this works. There. Okay, so that's off and that's on. Okay, so let's try this out. So with the, with the switch one way, this should go, this card should end up 
going straight. Oh, I have two cars there. Did I do that? That was amusing. Maybe it was, I placed one another one down and it... Okay, still going too slow. You know what I need to do? Is put down another booster track. We have one. And another... Turn that on. There we go. Get over there! Get over there! Oh, I need to get rid of... How many of these things do I have? I guess that's faster. Okay, so. Yeah, okay. So that should go straight. Cool. Oh, I guess I need to turn this off. And now we'll say, okay, let's turn that off. Okay, now, okay, that's with the switch uh, off. And now if we turn it on, you can see that change, and now this time it should go that way. Voila! That took a moment. Okay, now, what happens if I... This should go right back where it was. Right? Now if I... If I let's put it back. The side. Okay, so... So that shows from... We can get from this side, we can get to either the side line or this line. What happens now? I think it goes, it still goes that way. Right. Um, what I'd like to know is, so that's gonna go straight. Maybe we'll go if I switch this. Yeah. So there's no way. There's no way. The way the switch is right now, there's no way for me to get from here to here. Which is not going to work. So I think we need to. It needs to be a little more complicated, unfortunately. That's what I was. I read a little bit about switches and tracks on the Railcraft Wiki, and that's what I was thinking that it's a little more. It uh, has to be a little more complicated than, than just having um, one switch and one extra line here. So I have to think about how I want to do it. Like, I could have, like, I could have more track here. Like, whoops. I could have more track right here, like this. And then put another switch right there, like that. And then they're both facing the same way, but if I do that, then then I could go from I could go from here to here, and then I could go from here. No, no, no. I could go from here to here. Or here to here, I think. Now, so that would that would allow me to get there, get to the middle from either end. But can I get from the middle? Let's see. I can. Um, I can get from here to here. But I, can't, I can't get from here to here, I don't think. But I could always just walk over here and go from here to here. That might mean having to have more than one cart, though. That's not good. Of course, I could. I, I know another possibility is I could. If I had another switch, do I have more? I, actually, there are more switches up here. Oh, 
that's not right. What am I doing? Well, that's amusing. You know what I think I'm gonna do? This is gonna take too long for me to figure this all out on camera. So, and I think I need to make more, some more switch motors. So I'm gonna make, uh, I guess I need to have th four switch motors here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get what, like make some more switch motors and play around with this until I have it working the way I want it to. And then I will come back on camera and show it actually working. All right, so I'll be back. I'll be back in a moment of uh, video time, but I don't know how long it'll take in real time. We'll see. All right, people, I'm, um, I've, I'm back. And let's see what I've got. So, I, let's see. Okay, so I, I put up signs to label everything. So, Great Hall, Original Base, Tower Basement, and then the switches A, B, and C. Right? And so I've got, I did some experimenting, put down more switches. We got switch motors at each of the switches here. So what you got here, you got what the main line still going from the original base to um, the tower basement. That's the way it is right now. So just imagine these aren't here, right? And this is going to be a little, a little small version of that. <clears throat> and for this to work, uh, this will work as long as these two switches are open. Actually, to go from here to there, just this switch needs to be open. This could be closed and it'll still work. But then to go from back from here to here, then this switch needs to be open and it doesn't matter if this is open or closed. Anyway, so to see that that's work, that works, I just push the button and it goes right over. Then I can come over here and push this button and it'll go right back out. So, <clears throat> so I have this chart here that shows, you know, with, what, this, what uh, position the sw different switches should be in. So to go from, um, to go from the original part of the base to the base tower, we just say both switches, both A and B should be open. Actually, what happens to C doesn't matter at all because it doesn't even go near C. So I, so I have written down here from original to tower, open and open for both A and B, and from hall to original, uh, no, wait, excuse me, from tower to the original, both A and B need to be open. Okay. Now the question is, if you want to go from the original part of the base to the middle of the hall, then what we need to do is. Uh, this switch right here needs to be closed because you can see if the cart's going to come along uh, actually I don't think it would matter whether this was open or closed it would just go by it because of the direction it's coming um, so as, when if this is closed then it'll take this junction and go right through here right I think it also doesn't matter whether C is open or closed but I'm gonna say that it should be closed because to go back in this direction it would need to be closed because that if it were open, it would go along this way and come over here. Whereas, if we want to go back to the original part of the base from the hall, from the middle of the hall, we need to turn left because then this will make us go right. Anyway, so let's try this out and see if it works. That should go to the middle of the hall, and then push this button. That should go back to the original part of the base. So. If, so under original to hall, we need A to be closed and B to be open and C to be closed. And then to go from the, uh, from the middle of the hall to back to the original part of the base, um, the same thing. A should be closed, B should be open, and C should be closed, and that works. Okay, so let's go back, send this back to the middle of the hall. And think about what needs to be, the, how these switches should be, should be set to send the cart from the middle of the hall to the, the uh, basement of the tower. In that case, what we want to have happen is we want to go straight to this switch and have it force us to the left. Because you can see that this little part that is curved, when we close that, <clears throat> the, uh, the, the cart will be forced to the left, right? Now, when that happens, if this switch were still close when we when the cart was forced left it would just turn left again and go right back to the right back to the great hole where it was which in fact let's go ahead and and uh, push the button and watch that happen right that's no good 
and then it doesn't quite make it far enough to get to the booster track. There we go. Okay, so that is not what we want. So we want to open this switch, right? So with that switch open, when the cart gets here, it's going to just go straight and end up at the tower basement. So let's try that out. Whoops, oops, oops. I think I opened the wrong... Did I open the wrong thing? What happened here? That should have worked. What happened? I tried this before and it worked. Why did not? That sh I don't. That should have worked. Mm. Oh no! Oh, oh, I'm sorry. This needs to be open. Okay, I didn't set that. Okay, now it'll work. Okay, so with this open, before I, this was closed, I forgot to open this up. With this switch closed, it was going this way. And of course, it was automatically going to the right and then coming back. So with this, um, with this, excuse me, did I just switch it back? With that open, it'll go like this. Okay, now it'll work. Okay, it goes to the left and goes to the tower, of course. And then if we just go in reverse, it goes right back, which is perfect. Okay, so this switch is open, the switch is closed, and the switch is open. Okay, so that means for to go from the middle of the hall to the basement of the tower, we need A to be open, B to be closed, and C to be open. And to go from the, the basement of the tower to the hall, the same thing. A needs to be open, B needs to be closed, and C needs to be open. Okay, and that's what my chart says. I wrote that all down. So, the next piece of the puzzle is just to figure out a way to do all this switching of tr of um, switching of switches, <laughs> the changing of switches from one state to another uh, remotely, which I guess is going to have to be done with wireless redstone transmitters and receivers and so I'm gonna craft some of those. I have, what I have to think about is how many do I need. Obviously we need a transmitter at each destination and uh, departure point so so we need three transmitters and I guess we need to have a receiver at each but well at least we actually we need at least three and three but I think we actually need more because we need to uh, we need to transmit We need to transmit to all three of the switches what they should be open or closed each time we, you know, like say at each destination, at each uh, departure point, we'll have two buttons or two levers or something um, saying, well, I guess it would either be two buttons or one lever. And they would say, um, and what they would do is they, they would tell all three, well, we see, if it were, say it were two buttons. If I were here at the at the tower, one button would say middle of the hall, and the other button would say original part of the base. And those pressing one of those buttons would send out three different wireless redstone signals over three different transmitters to three different receivers to all three switches to tell them whether they should be on or off. So that means we would need. I guess we would need nine trans nine transmitters. We would still only need three receivers, though, because each switch only needs one receiver to tell it whether it's on or off. Actually, that's not going to work that way, because if I had a if I had a transmitter here that was telling A it needs to be off, but I had a transmitter over here that was saying A need to be A needed to be on, and I wasn't way over here to switch that, that wouldn't work. It would still, the switch would stay on, right? Because it would only need one transmitter to say be on. I believe that's the case. So what we need to do, I think, is to transmit a signal to a central location. Like, I wonder if this would be easier with computers. <clears throat> Can I do this with signs? I have some extra. Say I had, say I had, 
essential unit right here to keep track of everything. And they're over here, and I say, I need the switches set open, closed, open. It would send a signal over here, say, make the switches open, closed, open, and it would send out the signals to the switches. And then I would go to where I wanted to be. I would do whatever I wanted to go. I might end up actually, you know, I might do some stuff, walk around a little bit, end up actually at a different departure point and say, oh, I need to go back to the original part of the base. And then I would push the button and say, go back to the original part of the base. That would send a signal over to this central unit and say, that, that would, that would know if, if you want to go from, if you want to go from where you are, you know, from the gate, from the hallway to back to the original part of the base, then the gate, the, all the gate, all the switches, excuse me, need to be in, the, in this, in a certain state. And it would send out the signals to the gates and they would switch themselves. And then I would, I would take off, right? I think that's the way it has to be. Um... <sighs> So I have to think about whether it would be better to use like a computer. I could have a little computer running a program that could do that. It would need to be checking the states of, of its incoming signals. Oh, I don't know, every, at least every 30 seconds because I would want it to be able to update the, the switches pretty quickly. You know, I want to push the button that says where I want to go and then just go. I don't want to like say, say it only checked every five minutes. I would have to like push the button saying I want to go somewhere and then say, oh, I guess I need to wait here five minutes to make sure that the computer has enough time to check, to, rem you know, to, to go through a cycle and check if there's a, if it just got an incoming signal and switch the switches. Um, although actually there's another, you can't have a computer actually wait on an event, but that's kind of, I think, like it always looping and checking all the time, except for that the operating system, the game, so to speak, is, is the operating system, I mean the game, which is kind of like the operating system behind it so to speak. Anyway, under the hood, I think it would end up doing the same thing. And that's a little bit, I don't know, I'm, I don't know if, if, well, one computer doing that probably wouldn't be a problem. If you had a bunch of computers doing things like that, it would cause lag, I believe. So, but it still might be the way to go. Another option, I think, would be a, you, to use a bunch of circuits from Red Power, or Project Red, I guess it's called now. I'm going to call Project Red. Will that work? Yeah, so what, how many switches do we have? I'll have to look into this. If, I mean, if we had red power, of course, it has all these switches. And I think, I think some of the switches are available now, but I don't remember what. Maybe, um, what they're called. Let's see, if I went here to mod and... I always find it annoying trying to scroll through this thing. Project integration, transmission, project red, compatibility, no, 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 yes. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of gates. So I might have to look at what kind of, might have to use some like, there's, I don't know what that is, latches, toggles, some combination of all these things might be what I need to do. Or I could use the stuff from... I guess I need to go like this. Whoops, no, I don't need to do that. I need this. Okay. The other one, what is it? Is it a uh, open blocks? The... What I'm looking for is not jumping out at me, so I don't think it's that. I don't think it's my, my factory reloaded. What is it called? Open peripherals? Oh. No, it's not that. Switches. This one just called switches? What is that? Is one called switches? I have no idea what those do. I don't think it's that. 
now. Maybe it is this. So many different. If I could see what I rednet, what is it called? Rednet cable? I think rednet is the right word. Yeah. Oh, it is mine factory reloaded. Okay. So there's the programmable pro pro programmable. Programmable. I should be able to say that word. Programmable redneck controller. I think it also do what I want, and it might be the way to go. I don't know how big a difference there would be between that and using a computer from Computer Craft, though. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna figure out which one, which one I want to try to use for this. F, uh, in between episodes, and when I come back, I will, I will show that working and then set actually set it up. Okay, so um, this is Keith Modesto wrapping things up. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.